Welcome to Specific Love. This is the sixth edition of 20 Fresh Cleats for your tool storage. Let's begin. First up is a great way to be able to mount your French cleats on four different sides. Let me show you how. First off, you're gonna have to do some strategic cuts on some little square pieces of wood. I have two sides here that are cut at a 45 degree angle, and then you wanna mount them so that both angles are facing toward the center of the board. And by having this on four separate corners, you can then mount it in four different directions. Another thing to look at is when you're mounting these in place, you need to make sure there's enough room between each of these so that it doesn't cause problems on the cleat. For example, when you're hanging it here, you're not gonna come in contact on the bottom, so that way you can have plenty of room to move this all around. All right, next up is this awesome adjustable shelf. So if you still want shelves for your shop, you can easily make these and adjust them whatever size you want and attach a French cleat to the back. Let me show you how. Now for all these slots, you wanna go halfway across the board. And for the thickness of the slot, you wanna make sure it is the thickness of the opposing board. Make it too tight, won't go in easily. You make it too loose, no, it'll just be a ton of slop. Now, each of these was done with a single blade, just one cut at a time, so you do not have to have a dado to do this. Now when you're installing these back cleats, it's a good idea to put some kind of a corner square in each of the corners so you know it's exactly square, and then install your pieces. Now for those of you who work on cars and you have a four-way lug wrench, here's a great way to mount it on the wall. All right, this is an easy one right here. You want two pieces sticking out. This was just a two by four that I trimmed down. And in each of these, you wanna have a little bit of a notch going about halfway through the board so that the iron will sit nice and flat in there. And that way it doesn't fall out. Real simple, real easy. In a previous video, I made this outlet cover that I eventually turned into a cell phone holder and charger. A friend of mine actually was putting up one of my tools and put the hand palm sander over here, but it wouldn't fit. What got me thinking, this would be a great way to make a holder for such a tool. Now it's real simple, just a real thin piece of lightweight material, because it's not heavy. You just want some borders that go around the side so that nothing will slide out or slide off. You could additionally put a little bar across here if you choose, I don't need it, because I have a slight angle to mine. It's a great way to store one of your hand sanders. Now there are those times when you need to sharpen your tools. And to do that, I use a nice flat piece of glass with some sharpening material on the face. That way I know it's perfectly flat. The only thing is having glass in your workshop can be a little bit dangerous because you can easily knock these off a shelf and just shatter them on your floor. So I created an awesome little holder for these. Now whenever you're using plate glass, this stuff can be kind of heavy, especially when it's really thick. So I'm using some three quarter inch material just to give all of this some strength here. Now in the bottom and in the top, I have corresponding dados that go about roughly halfway through the wood so that I can easily slide each of these pieces of glass in place. Now I only have three here. You can make this whatever size you would like to fit your needs. And for additional safety, if you'd like, you can put a strap across the front. In any case, it's a great way to store your sharpening materials. Now, drills are essential in your shop, but here recently I picked up one of these right angle drills and I love it. So, I wanted to create a nice little holder for it. It's a real simple design so that the drill can sit on its side, has plenty of room for the battery, and you can also add some additional storage or maybe some bits if you'd like. It's real simple, just some two by material that I cut down in the back just with a notch, and in the front I have more of a curve so that it fits the neck of the drill here. And on the back, just attach your French cleats and you can hang it easily on the wall. Sometimes it's awesome to have a little bowl just to throw random stuff in so you don't have to worry about it until later. So let me show you how to make this into a French cleat. All right, now this actually has two bowls in it, but more than that, it's a two-in-one with a mini shelf below it. You have all your little random items go in the top and just some of your bigger items on the bottom down here. Now when you're making your holes, you want to have it where your bowl can sit inside, but you don't want it to sit too far down so you can easily put it in and take it out. It's a great way to store some of your random items. Now I have a palm router here that I love, but it came in this little bag that, well, it just can be a challenge to get in and out. I wanted a way to have this on the wall so I have easy access. And that is why I created this awesome little holder for this palm router. It has two levels, top one for the router and I have a little shelf on the bottom to store some of the little supplies that came with it. Now both of these shelves have a little lip on the front so I don't have to worry about anything falling off. And if you notice on the sides here, I have this at a nice slant, two reasons. One, when I'm putting the router back in place, I'm not banging my hands on the sides and scuffing them up. 
And two, I have a little exhaust port on the side of my router and I needed just access room. I've also took in consideration that there are different size batteries, so I need a little additional headroom here, just in case I happen to have a larger piece on there. Now this is a great way to make a holder for your Palm router. Now I've seen a lot of tool holders that use PVC to do the job. In this case, I'm doing a little spin on it. This is three inch PVC that I've cut a notch out of the front and I've also put a couple little grooves, one on each side, opposing each other. That'll allow you to easily put your tool on and take it off. That way you don't have to take your tool all the way out the top or all the way out the bottom. It's just an easy on off right there in the front. I love a heavy duty hedge trimmer. It's an awesome tool to have, but sometimes it can just get in the way because it's long and awkward. So let me show you how to hang it on a wall. Now you want to make sure the back of the French cleat is the full length of the body of your head trimmer because these can get kind of heavy, especially with these big batteries. And that way, when you slide it into place, you don't have to worry about it being too far off. Now in my case here, I've added just some three quarter inch plywood that I have notched out here on the side. That way it fits nice and tight around the handle here as I slide it in place. It also wedges the body so there's very little bit of movement. Now, for these pieces, I have glued them in place, but I also put a couple screws in the back just for a sound mime. In any case, it's a great way to store your head trimmer. Now here's a very simple holder that you can put together real quick. It's just a piece of styrofoam. I pulled out of one of my boxes when I was buying a tool. I glued it to a piece of wood. You can use this just for some random objects. You can put stuff in the front, the top, or even the sides. Just make sure it's angled if you're gonna do the sides in the front. And you can use it for whatever tools you like. One thing you need to do is whenever you're making a hole, try and drill it out because if you try and heat this up and stick it in, it's just gonna continue to melt it. You don't wanna do that. Otherwise, very simple hole. Holder. Now here's a great way to take a bucket and turn it into a three-way holder. Now first off, this is a two-gallon bucket. Now I've attached it to a baseboard back here, and if you look in, I have a piece of wood in the back, and I have both of them secured together with some screws. Now the great thing about a bucket turned on its side is you can easily wrap cord, hose, or whatever you'd like around the outside, and it gives you two additional shelves inside once you put a piece of plywood in place. I have this nice heavy-duty piece here and one below. And a third way is you have, of course, the handle. This is great for holding rags or any kind of hangers, wherever you'd like below it. So it's a great way to take just a standard bucket and turn it into an awesome three-way holder. Now having a cabinet in your shop is an awesome way to store some of your tools, but we're talking about French cleats. That is, you can always attach a French cleat to a cabinet. In my case here, this was a pre-made cabinet, so I just attached one to the back, but you can also build a cabinet with one already built in. Now, I only have one cleat on the back of this at the moment. I'm gonna additionally add a second one once I have everything measured out, and decide exactly which cleats I'm gonna attach it to, whether it's in my garage or in my shop. In any case, I will be adding a second for strength. Now, for the first one up here, if you notice, I have some screws going into the sides. So I strongly suggest we need to add some additional support within your cabinet here. This is just some two by material that I cut in half and I have it screwed into place so that as you're attaching your French cleats, you can screw right into that piece. That also gives full strength to your cabinet, less likely for it to ever give out. So go buy yourself a cabinet or make you one and hang it up in your shop. Now a heat gun is an awesome tool to have in a shop, but of course when you're done, that tip is just really hot. There's a real good chance if you set it down somewhere, you're gonna burn yourself or somebody else might burn themselves. So it created this awesome little holder so you can easily store it up and out of the way. Now to create this, I just did some scrap wood into a square shape that I also have a nice bevel on the opposing sides here that will fit nicely around the plastic part of your heat gun so that when it goes down, it also has a chance to lean back a little bit, securing it in place. Across here, I just have an extension piece of wood with an additional piece at 90 degrees so I can easily hang the cord, and that's a great way to store your heat gun. In a previous video, I built this huge drill holder and charging station, but some of you might not want such a huge item. In that case, you can take your battery charger, find out where the screw mounting holes are, add it to a piece of wood, and then you can easily mount it to that, add a French cleat, and hang it on your wall. If you have a router table, sometimes storing your bits can be a little challenging. This is actually a really simple, basic setup here. This is some pegboard that I've cut out. It's like five holes by eight holes. And I've just used some simple one by material on the back with a French cleat. Now there's a few ways you can do this, depending on the size 
of the main shaft of your bits here. You may have to enlarge your holes or you can just use the standard holes, whatever works for you. Now make sure you have enough room on the back so you're not gonna interfere with any of the bits. And it's a great way to have a very simple holder for all your bits for your router. Now here's a super simple project to hang some of your small items, just like so. Real simple, I have just a couple pieces of plywood with some zip ties through them. Now this back piece I have notched out so that the zip ties don't interfere with how the French cleats work, and that way you can easily have it to store some of your items. Now whether you're using a glue spreader or some paint brushes, a lot of times you just need them to sit out and dry. In that case, I created this item here so you don't have to worry about them getting on anything. These are just some basic clothespins, some craft sticks, and a back piece of wood that I notched out and glued everything in place. The great thing about it, it's real simple. You just open it up, stick it in place, and it holds it nice and firm. And that way you can have all your tools positioned and let them dry easily. Sometimes when you buy new tool packs or tool holders, they don't have a great way to mount them to French cleats. So in my case here, I took a piece of two inch Velcro, attached it to a nice piece of wood, added a French cleat on the back. Now that's a great and easy way to attach some of your tools straight to your wall really easily. And last but not least, let me show you how to make a holder for all your paint stuff. All right, first off, I have all the paint roller stuff on the bottom here. Just some basic hooks holding everything in place and your standard large roller is the same process. In the middle here, I just have a basic shelf and I just had some extra clear Lexon to make this nice and pretty. You don't have to do that, of course. Just put an additional piece of wood across the front. This is to hold all your little rollers and whatever else you might need for your paint supplies. And the top up here, I just have some pipe clamps to hold some individual paint brushes. You can do this any way you like, it just seemed to work best for my setup. And there you go, another 20 French cleat ideas. And if you don't like some of these, modify them. The great thing about French cleats is you can build them to match your own personal shop, your tools, or your personal preferences. It's totally up to you. In any case, get out of your shop and have fun building. You who work in automotive and have a four-way lug wrench. Real simple, real easy to mount. If I can figure out how to do it, some here redo things. And I want a big build, 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 such a big item. All right. Fire it, fire iron, fire iron. It's for your first, let's try it again. Ah, fill, fill. 